Hello, hello, I'm Kaz and welcome to today's video. Have you encountered this type of team before? This troll defense that is free to play accessible with the slow UDK and the stone skin and the Wukong who will keep reviving himself while you struggle to not kill the UDK and stone skin? Have you been bested by this troll defense? Well, good news, I have a solution for you guys today. Introducing Sundown, the team that can take care of this pesky, annoying composition. But jokes aside, we are going to be talking about how to handle this super troll team in an arena. Now, as I mentioned in my fake advertisement, this team is quite annoying or can be quite annoying because UDK is super slow, typically in stone skin, meaning that you're going to be spending a lot of time dealing zero damage to him. And all the while, UDK or uh, Sun Wukong can potentially start to do damage to your team. He's going to keep reviving himself because you UDK being so slow means that essentially all you, your team is going to be taking turns and every three turns that your team takes relative to UDK taking zero, Sun Wukong is going to pop back up 100% turn meter and be able to do something against your team. It could be his A2, he can strip your buffs with the A3, he can do an A2, which can... <laughs> One shot your entire team if he's a if he's a nuking uh, Wukong, but uh, yeah, so it can be very very dangerous. But this is what we're gonna do to deal with that today. So we have your standard speed lead in or whoever that may be. In this case, I'm using Arbiter. We have a debuffer. This could be anyone, doesn't really matter who, but ideally someone who can place any type of debuff, and that will be important a little bit later. We have an ally attack champion. We're using the budget friendly option of Ferric and the Fat, but again, it could be any ally attack champion that you have on your account. And then of course the star of the Show Fenax, and the reason we call it the Sundown Team is because of this A1, where we're gonna put down the Sun Wu Kong. So the A1 here on Fenax, it can be a double hitter if they have a debuff, any debuff, which again, why we want to run some sort of debuffer on the team. And then if he kills the t uh, the enemy with this ability, they cannot be revived. Perfect. UDK is gonna be still alive in the Stone Skin, but it's not it's not a big of a deal. He's usually not built to do damage, and you just can can kind of uh, ch uh, chip him down chip his health down once the stone skin wears off in addition to that if assuming you have a, again a debuffer on the team once the stone skin wears off you place any debuffs on udk and then fenax here can still use his a1 and start dealing tons of damage with the double hit so normally you would run a real debuffer in the slot like a madam zaris or a stagnite or whoever you have war maiden if you're earlier in the game but the point being is that someone who can place debuffs ideally decrease defense but sun, sun wukong is fairly squishy and so it do doesn't really matter as long as you have some sort of debuff arbiter is kind of handy because she also has a chance to place the weaken on the a1 and there is a reason that we ordered the team in this specific way we put fenax in the back because of how ally attack works is it goes in a, a team composition order so when when ferrican activates the a3 he's going to send in arbiter first then mithrala and then fenax so with this particular composition that is powerful because like i said arbiter has a chance to place weaken on the a1 but also mithrala can place poisons on the on her a1 which could go to sun wukong as well meaning that we have two chances to place more debuffs on top of Mithrala going first or going second and placing the Hex, which is again another debuff to place on the Sun Wukong. The other cool thing about ally attack in this case is that UDK will only absorb the first hit from the first person. In this case, it will be Arbiter. And then all subsequent hits will go to whoever you're targeting, in this case, Sun Wukong. So we are guaranteed to have Fenax, who's last in the team order, hit Sun Wukong. So enough rambling, let's go ahead and do this. We can run it on auto if we really wanted to, but typically this is how I run Arena. I typically do it on manual. So pretty standard setup, uh, speed booster boosts, debuffer debuffs, and then I ideally you have this somewhat speed tuned so that Sun Wukong doesn't cut in, but we just come here with the ally attack and we send them all in and pop, he's gone. So GG's, Sun Wukong down, and now we can just kind of chill, wait, A1 cycle while we just wait for the stone skin. He does his thing, doesn't really matter. Mithrala is nice here. Had he placed the fear or something on Arbiter, that would have been nice because Mithrala can cleanse. But again, she's not mandatory on the team. She That could that slot could be anyone with any sort of debuffing abilities. So we're just going to take our time here, waiting for this lovely person with this troll defense for his thing to wear off. I do have my Ferric in the Fat and Reflex. Um, so that's why you're seeing the decrease cooldowns, but that is uh, once again not mandatory. So now we have him ready to go. Let's see if Fanax can do it. Not enough with the A1, but with the ally attack back up. There we go. Done deal. 
boom, dead. So that took a minute. So it does take a while to do specifically on manual. If you just run it full auto, you can still set up the AI override so that you just go in with that same t turn order. You probably have to make sure that you target Sun Wukong. He's in the lead. So the default is typically for ally attacks and, and stuff like that. They go for the leader, but you might just want to click Sun Wukong just to ensure that it's going to the right place. But nonetheless, it is slow, but I want you guys to not be afraid of this particular composition because it can be beat so easily, at least dealing with the Sun Wukong aspect. And then UDK, like I said, he's usually not built for damage. He's built super slow as a super tank. So you just wait for the stone skin to wear off and then you can just deal with them accordingly. Fanax happens to be a good affinity for dealing with Sun, uh, for dealing with the, both of them actually, but for dealing with UDK, he's positive affinity. So you're less likely to get the decrease attack on you. But if you run someone like a Mithrala, for example, then you can also cleanse that off anyways, like we discussed. So Fanax, super, super powerful, perfect for this job. Obviously you could run any other block revive champion. I don't recommend fully because the way it works, uh, well, assuming there is potential for reaction on the Sun Wukong. Foley is not the best just because that extra hit on his block revive A3 will be stolen by UDK just because of how the ability works. It's a, it targets whoever at random, but it's a single hit. Therefore, UDK will, will eat it. So it's a little less reliable to use Foley, particularly if uh, the Sun Wukong happens to have reaction, he might not die. I um, think Constantine, if you pair him with Vlad, he can definitely block revive and E3 Blood Twin, of course. So there's a handful of champions that have block revive, but I think the best option for a lot of people, particularly paired with ally attack champions, would be Fenax the Epic. And the last thing I want to mention here is that that is not how I typically deal with that composition, but I am most certainly in the end game, so I have the luxury of just running a uh, Ramantu. So I have my Remain 2 team here. I'm not going to run it against this team necessarily, but I just usually cancel his passive with uh, Ramantu and then I kill him with whoever my nuker is, in this case, Genbo on this auto team. And also I'm running two buff strippers. So there's two chances, you know, 50, 50 shot with the stone skin to not be removed, but there's still a chance that I could remove it with either Amantu or Madam Saris in this, in this particular instance. And so that's typically how I handle it here in the, in, you know, with the end game, where obviously I have Ramantu. So that's why I'm not suggesting that that be the way that you necessarily do it if you're earlier in the game. But um, this is how I typically deal with it on my account. So feel free to ask your doctor if sundown is right for you. I highly, highly recommend it for dealing with the troll defense of Sun Wukong and UDK. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've been bested by this team or if you have some sort of other unique combination of champions that can deal with this pesky little defense. As always, if you found this video helpful, then be sure to hit that like button down below. It really does help out the channel. And if you enjoy this little quick tip, then feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one in the future. Thanks for watching and have a good one.